Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be the get to know me tag. It is gonna be so that way you guys can get to know me a little bit more on a personal level. I have a hard time kind of opening up on my channel. I tend to be a little bit more private and I haven't done any kind of chit chat get ready with me's or any Q and A's or any kind of get to know me's before. So I think this is something really fun so Crystal K Beauty actually started this tag here on YouTube. I will make sure I link her channel down below so you guys can check her out as well. Thank you so much for tagging me in this. And I'm gonna go ahead and tag a few more lovely ladies down below in the description box, so check it out. So without further ado, let's jump right into this get to know me. The first question on the list is, where are you from? So I am actually originally from Sweden. We actually left when I was about five or six years old and we ended up bouncing around a couple different places before we eventually landed in California. And that is where we have stayed for like the last 13 years or something like that. Absolutely love California and I don't think I would ever move from it. I mean, if there is an amazing place that I don't know about, that I happen to find out about later, you know, I might move, but right now I absolutely love living in California and yeah, I would move. <laughs> so question number two, do you have any tattoos? And the simple answer is yes, yes I do. The long answer is I have eight. So uh, let's jump right into them, shall we? I probably will not be stopping at these eight. I really enjoy getting tattooed. I think it's a really fun experience. I know that sounds really weird, but I enjoy getting a permanent piece of artwork that I am able to display on my body. I just feel like if you enjoy tattoos, it is a really beautiful, unique piece to yourself that you can really enjoy, that you look down on, see a memory, and then, you know, get happy thoughts. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? grab yourself a drink and a little bit of snack. This might take a while. The first tattoo I have to show you guys is of my clock right here on my forearm. It did used to be a lot more vibrant in color. It is a few years old now, so it has kind of worn down on the color just a little bit. And if you don't use sunscreen, it's gonna wear down. So wear sunscreen. But next we have my teacup with some tea spilling down on a rose. This one was actually inspired by one of my sister's drawings. She is actually a really amazing artist. And she had this really amazing Alice in Wonderland inspired picture that she drew that had like a fox and teacups and different things like that. And it was just really beautiful and inspired me to get this. Third piece is my most recent addition. This is actually a lantern. I had a really scrunch up here to try to show you guys. I do have a owl with a M4 that is up here on my arm. It is actually a matching tattoo I got with my husband. He has a owl with a AK-47. My fifth is, of course, a butterfly on my side because when your name is Vanessa and the meaning of Vanessa is a butterfly, as soon as you turn 18, it is a rite of passage to get a butterfly tattoo. So, uh... I got a butterfly as soon as I turned 18. Short story. Next, I do have my sternum or under boob tattooed. So here is this little piece right here. It reminds me of the kind of Cinderella pumpkin carriage. It has a bunch of lace detailing, a little keyhole in the middle, which I hope that you guys can see, and some cool little dot work. If you hate feet like my husband hates feet, then skip forward just a few seconds because I have a foot tattoo. Here is my little foot tattoo. My little foot tattoo is a story in which hopefully if you are someone younger watching this video, you will take a lesson from this. Don't do it. I got my foot tattoo. I'm really sorry mom if you're watching this, I know that you are. I got my foot tattoo at 16 years old. I let my best friend tattoo my foot. I do not recommend it. I ended up with a really horrible foot tattoo. I had to get it fixed and that's why it has the stitching around it, but it is a weird, crooked little heart and yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's one of those pieces that you kind of look back at it and you're like, ah, oh, why? 
why don't do it please learn from me just wait wait till you're 18 get a tattoo by a professional don't let anyone near you with a needle that is not a professional and then of course my last tattoo that is my biggest is my back piece so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys my back piece if not I'm gonna insert a image of my entire back piece so that way you guys are able to see it so here is part of my back tattoo I'm definitely gonna insert a image I'm not fully able to show you guys everything without having to take off my shirt It is an amazing piece that I actually had my tattoo artist, her name is Annie, in case you want to see her social media, it is Annie Anarchy. I will put a little at in the description box down below so you can check her out. She has actually done my back piece, my sternum, my lantern, and she does amazing work. She designed and did the entire back piece for me from scratch. I absolutely love it. It's 100% custom, but those are all of my tattoos so far. Moving on with the third question being, what is your favorite food? So my favorite food right now is probably pupusas. If you do not know what pupusas is, you can always Google it, check out the images. It looks absolutely tasty. It is a Salvadorian dish in which it is a thick corn tortilla, which is stuffed with either cheese or meat or beans or combination of the meat and the beans. And it is absolutely delicious and every time we travel into LA to see my husband's family we always stop by a little pupusa shop because I absolutely love them and we always pick some up because they are just to die for. Question number four. What is your favorite snack? So currently my favorite snack would have to be the Doritos Tapatio. Those ones are magnifique. They are really good. If you enjoy spicy foods, you would really enjoy these. They are a nice little kick of a little something spicy, but yet a little bit sweet almost because of the chip. I think they are absolutely amazing and I would highly recommend checking it out. Question number five is, are you single or are you attached? So I'm actually married. I got married really young and it surprises everybody. I actually got married when I was 18 years old. We actually eloped as soon as I turned 18. Two of his friends were our witnesses. So in case any of you guys were curious as to why my last name says Lopez, it is because my husband is Hispanic and I took his last name. Question number six, why did you start your YouTube channel? So I actually wanted to start a YouTube channel a long, long, long time ago. I wanted to start a channel back in beginning of high school, I think it was, that I wanted to start one. I had told my parents and I said, I want to start making makeup tutorials. Please, can I have some makeup, some brushes, and can I get started in doing it? I had a camcorder in which I like to play around with and make fun videos with my friends. And my mom ended up getting me the makeup I asked for. And then I got really, really shy. I have never been one with too much confidence. I felt like a lot of people were gonna say mean things or put me down or things like that. So I just didn't end up doing it, which I really ended up regretting. I have since then kept thinking about it, kept wanting to do it, and then I finally decided this year I was just gonna go for it, I was gonna do it. My husband went on his last and final deployment and I was at home by myself a lot and I just decided why the hell not? Just do it, start recording, start editing, upload it, and give it a shot. And so I did, and I am so happy that I was able to do that. Of course, I absolutely just love, love makeup. I am completely obsessed. I buy way too much makeup, and I love talking about it and I needed more people to listen to me talk about makeup. <laughs> and I just really enjoy this kind of interaction and then showing you guys what works, what doesn't, and being able to experiment and grow with my makeup skills in this fun environment of my beauty channel. Number seven, what is your favorite makeup brand? So currently I would say my favorite brand is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has some amazing stuff. 
I have been obsessed with their little contour palette that is in Dolce de Leche. I wonder if I have that here somewhere. Not entirely sure where it went, but that one is amazing. I love their highlighters. Their liquid cat suits are incredible. I really enjoy their concealer. I have yet to try out their foundation or their spray, but I also love their brushes. Their products are absolutely amazing. They are so affordable and they have such high quality stuff that you just wouldn't expect from the drugstore and it's really up to par with the high-end items, I think. So for that reason, Wet n Wild is my definite favorite right now. Eighth question is, how old are you? So I am actually 23 years old in case you were wondering from my I think it was the fifth question where I said I was married. Number nine, what is your favorite band or musician? So I do not really actually have one. I don't think I've ever had a favorite band or musician. I to go through a phase of different genres in which I like to listen to. Currently, I'm really into rap music. I am one of those people who I will rap to any song at, even if I don't know all of the lyrics, I will still rap to the parts that I know and, you know, start screaming at the top of my lungs. That, that's, that's me. Number 10, your favorite movie. So this one is a tough one. I would have to say 100% I'm gonna go with the Harry Potter series. The reason being, is I really enjoy the entire movie series that they came out with. I think it is so unique, so fun. And actually, when I was younger, my mom used to read to me and my sister, who's older than me. She read all the Harry Potter books to me and my sister, and it is a great childhood memory of mine that I really love to think back to. And watching the movies, I always kind of get brought back to it, so it's a little bit of a nostalgic thing. But that is by far favorite movies. I know it should just be one, but lump sum, all of them. Number 11. So, favorite TV show. My favorite TV show that I rewatch nonstop is The Office. I literally just finished rewatching the series. I took about a two week break, and then, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to rewatch it again. So, I'm rewatching it for like the ninth time now. I cannot stop myself. Another one I cannot stop re-watching, but that one I need a little bit of a longer interval before I keep re-watching it is, of course, you know, the classic Sex in the City. That one I can put on repeat. And third, I would definitely have to say Game of Thrones. If you are still a non-Game of Thrones believer, I need you to uh, put the pause button here, hop on to the HBO account or whatever you have TV, and type in Game of Thrones, watch it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna be addicted. You're gonna watch seven seasons tonight. Just kidding, you won't be able to finish it that quick, but you will want to. 12, your favorite color. I would definitely say my favorite color of the year, which has just started, is probably teal. I am kind of torn. I mean, I do really like pink, but I feel like pink's kind of going in the background. It's like disappearing and teal is coming up front. Number 13, dream vacation. So my dream vacation, the one that I'm always thinking about in the back of my mind is Bora Bora. I always think of the clear, like crystal clear water and those little huts that are on the actual, I think it's the water, just like kind of like stuck there. I always think of that when I think of vacation. I just really want to go in there and just like see myself in the water and be like, oh, crystal clear. I don't know. I just really want to go there. But I am really excited for the summer that is coming up. I have a trip planned with my husband. We're going to go visit Sweden. I'm going to show him where I'm from. We're hopefully, fingers are crossed, we're going to be not just staying there. We're going to go around France, England. I don't know. I have really high hopes that we will be able to fit in a lot of places at the same time. Just backpack across Europe. Yes. Probably won't have time for all of that, but I mean, a girl can dream, can't she? 
So that was it for the get to know me tag. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if I have tagged you, make sure you get in on this video so that way you guys can create it as well. And if you have any more questions about me, please feel free to leave it down below in the comment section so I can answer those for you. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Of course, as always, I need to tell you that I post twice a week. I post once on Wednesdays and the second time on Sundays. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!